The 17.1 kilometre long western option would connect to the Hume Freeway at the existing Wandong interchange. The existing interchange at the Hume Freeway would be upgraded with a new free-flowing overpass and new ramps. This would reduce the slope for vehicles exiting the freeway and a dedicated lane would assist trucks to accelerate. A new connection would be made to O'Grady's Road and Broadhurst Lane. The bypass would generally follow the existing Epping Kilmore Road. A new connection would be made to Matheson's Road. The bypass would then run to the south side of the existing road to avoid residencies and roadside vegetation. The new bridge would provide gentler slopes across Broadhurst Creek, eliminating the Big Dipper. This would also provide a wildlife underpass for animals moving along Broadhurst Creek. The existing road would be retained as a local access road. After crossing Broadhurst Creek, the bypass heads in a northerly direction across the valley to take advantage of gentler natural landform and remove two sharp 90 degree bends in the existing Epping Kilmore Road. Connections would be made to the existing Epping Kilmore Road and Millard's Road. The bypass would then follow the existing Epping Kilmore Road as it travels towards the Northern Highway. Connections would be made to Queen's Road. The bypass would connect to the Northern Highway with a large roundabout, eliminating the existing T intersection with the Epping Kilmore Road. This connection would provide greater choice and flexibility for people wanting to bypass Kilmore or access the Hume Freeway. It would then continue west and deviate away from the residencies along Gary's Lane. New intersection connections would be provided at Mill Road. New intersections would also be provided at Fitzgerald's Road and Payne's Road South. The bypass would then turn north running to the west side of Payne's Road, retaining Payne's Road as a local access road. A new intersection would be provided at McDougall Road. The bypass would connect to Kilmore Lancefield Road with a large roundabout to the west of Kings Lane. The bypass would continue north passing to the west side of Kings Lane, retaining Kings Lane as a local access road. New intersections would be provided at Willow Maven Road. The bypass would then turn north easterly crossing Kilmore Creek. Emergency access would be provided on the west side to Costellas Road. The bypass would then connect to a large roundabout at the intersection of the Northern Highway and Kilmore Broadford Road. 